Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today is going to be something of a departure for me um, because I'm going to make something which is not in the strict sense of the word baking but it is cooked in the oven and it's going to be uh, a stuffed meat roll loaf and it's quite straightforward but uh, it does take a little bit of time because you've got to bake it for 40 minutes and it has um, ground beef or minced beef, uh, streaky bacon, that's what we call it in, in um, the UK, in America they probably just call it bacon. Um, it has some cheese in it, parmesan cheese and I'm using cheddar as well but you could use other soft, uh, other sliced cheeses and slices of ham and some spinach. So it's quite easy to put together and I'll go through the, the list of ingredients. Uh, one kilogram, 2.2 pounds of minced beef or ground beef. I have 240 grams, which is eight and a half ounces of streaky bacon. Um, and that's the sort that is in these thin strips like that. I have 150 grams, which is uh, five and a quarter ounces of ham in slices. I have 50 grams, which is one and three quarter ounces of Parmesan, a teaspoon of mixed herbs, you can use any herbs you want, one medium egg or an egg, uh, a teaspoon or about a teaspoon of salt, but it's salt to taste, pepper to taste as well. I'm not showing you those herbs and the salt and pepper. And I have 200 grams of cheddar cheese in slices. So I'm going to set everything aside apart from what needs to go into the beef. So what needs to go into the beef basically is my herbs, my salt, some pepper, my parmesan and my egg. And I should say I have my oven preheating at 200 Celsius which is 400 Fahrenheit and I have a baking tray with some parchment paper on it ready. So I'm going to use my hand to mix this all together to get it all fully combined. So that's nicely combined, so I'm just going to wash my hand and the next thing I want to do is to um, lay my bacon out on parchment paper overlapping it and using uh, a double length basically and overlapping that as well and then I want to take my minced beef and I'm going to press it onto the bacon but leaving a little gap on the narrow ends. So 
so it will end up hopefully at about one and a half centimeters um, in thickness so that's good like that so with that rolled out what I'm going to do is to take the ham and I'm going to lay the ham over the top and this is quite thinly sliced ham like that and then I'm going to take the sliced cheese and I'm going to lay that on as well but not all the way up and then I'm going to put my spinach on and I have a handful of spinach you can use as much or as little as you want basically just like that and what I want to do is to roll this up but I don't want to roll the bacon um, into the loaf at the moment so I'm going to start by rolling it like that and then peeling the bacon back and then roll again And then, with that covered, I'm going to roll it down to enclose it completely in the bacon. Like that. And I'm going to transfer it to my baking tray. like that and I'm going to then put that into the oven and bake it for 40 minutes I'll test it with my uh, thermometer to make sure that the meat is cooked through in the center then I'll take it out and I'll come back and show you the results so I baked um, the stuffed meat loaf for 40 minutes I actually then left it for another five minutes because when I tested the internal temperature it hadn't reached uh, 70 Celsius about 160 Fahrenheit that I wanted it to reach to ensure that the meat was cooked through once it comes out of the oven it will increase in temperature but it, it needs to reach that temperature in the oven so 45 minutes uh, was good enough I took it out of the oven it's been out now for about 10 minutes and I've actually sliced it so this is what it looks like inside and I have already had a, a little taste but I'll have another one now
it does taste very very good I love the I mean I love bacon anyway so I love the bacon on the outside and then the herby uh, beef flavor is just wonderful and I also get uh, the flavor of the um, cheese as well I don't know that I can actually taste the ham but uh, there's ham in it so I probably can taste it it will work well with the bacon anyway so this has been a bit of a departure for me in terms of uh, putting on YouTube but I hope you don't mind that I've, I'm going to put this on there and uh, if you've enjoyed the recipe please give me the thumbs up below the video and click, su click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye up here that you can click on and that will take you to this recipe and I'll also put a link for it below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking